The focus of this Yaga Africa pre-election conference for the Edo governorship election scheduled for Saturday includes areas that wants key stakeholders in the election, including the security agencies and the electoral umpire to address. That Africa has identified eight local government areas as hotspots for violence. The volatile security environment in these local government areas necessitates a strategic and neutral deployment of security forces. The PRVT methodology enables us to provide accurate information on the conduct of the election as well as the results. So if there are cases, we will detect and we will communicate that to Nigerians. For the Nigeria Police Force, preparation is on towards Saturday's election as reflected in the activities around and within the state commanded quarters. <laughs> In the conference hall, the Deputy Inspector General of Police on election duty in the stakeholders' meeting with media professionals, civil society organizations and accredited observers says the police are ready for the election as they have all it takes, men and equipment, and will deliver on the mandate of providing an enabling environment for a violence-free election. We want to reassure the people of Edo State that we will provide a level playing field for everybody. We will be politically neutral, we will be professional, we will enforce the laws strictly, firmly, but politely. We will hold people accountable when they infringe on the laws. He insists that members of the public should not campaign at polling units or bring along objects that could be used as weapons. He also explains that the operations of the policemen deployed would cover land, water and air, with roving and monitoring teams also available to keep an eye on their activities. We will also be policing the borders, the borders between Edo and Undo, Edo and Kogi, Edo and Anambra, um, Edo and Delta. We will also be policing the waterways, the creeks, the rivers, the coastal communities. We will also be carrying out roving patrols. Another reminder highlighted is that citizens avoid fake news by fact-checking information or contacting the police with inquiries via the phone numbers provided.